What's going on guys? I'm Alan and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Guitar Pro 8, which is the newest version of Guitar Pro. If you're unfamiliar with the software, uh, basically it's a multi-track editor of guitar and bass tabs and uh, other musical scores. Uh, it's available for Windows and Mac. We're going to talk about some of the features and the pricing. There will also be a link down in the description if you guys want to download the software for yourself. You can just click that link down there. Uh, I've been using Guitar Pro 7 for several months, and they just released Guitar Pro 8, so I went ahead and upgraded to it. Uh, they allowed me to upgrade for free since I had only had Guitar Pro 7 for just a few months. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the review. Let's talk about the features first. Also, just a quick warning. I don't want to get hit with any weird copyright stuff on this video, um, so I'm not going to play a whole lot of music, but I'll at least kind of like show you what's going on with the software. Um, so, of course, you can read uh, music scores and tabs, so you can just, you know, even if you aren't into composing, you just like to use it to read stuff, uh, other people's songs, you can do that uh, on here. And then, of course, you can use it to write your own music, so if you want to, you know, write out your own tabs, transcribe songs, um, and you can do other things uh, besides uh, just guitar, you know, down here you can do piano, drums, brass, and strings, so you can do all kinds of different things, so really, really versatile. Um, and also you have playback, so say after you've written out your tab, or if you're just playing along with another tab that's on here, um, you can just listen to it and play along with it. So that's pretty cool, and it gives you this little um, scroll bar that you guys see right here, so it kind of lights up as you're going, so you can see where you're at in the score. So that's really cool. And then, of course, you can also uh, mix the instruments, so you can control like how loud each instrument is. Uh, you can see in this picture down here, you can kind of adjust the EQ of everything. So really cool. Um, so all that's there for you. And then let's go over the second thing, Music Score Edition. Um, so yeah, you can customize the score, kind of like change the layout. So you can control uh, basically like how many measures you want on each line. Um, if you want it all to fit on one page, that kind of stuff. So you can adjust that. You can also adjust the different um, styles, so like the way it looks, like a jazz chart or rock chart, so on. Um, so yeah, you can change all that out. Uh, you can create multi-track scores, so you, of course you can layer lots of instruments. So like I was saying earlier, it's not just like one part at a time. You can do a whole arrangement on here, so really cool. Uh, then down here, notation elements. Uh, let's see, Guitar Pro allows you to add your score to all the usual, usual musical symbols pertaining to the guitar and to other stringed instruments. Um, yeah, so basically any like uh, special effects that you need, say like for guitar, hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, all that stuff, it's all there. Uh, we'll kind of skip over that. Yeah. Uh, this is cool tools for composing music. So, of course, you can use like uh, chord charts. You can put chord diagrams on there. It's really cool, too, because if you type in a chord, it'll basically tell you every single different way you can play that chord. So, it gives you all the available voicings. So, that's a neat tool. You also have a scale tool. So, if you want to know how to, you know, what notes are in the A minor scale, it'll show you all of them. Uh, basically for every single scale. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That way, you know, if you're composing a song, you can know which notes you have to pick from. Uh, lyrics, you can type in your lyrics. So if you want to have uh, words along with your tab or your chart, whatever you're making, just to make it a little bit easier to follow, uh, that's there too. So that's cool. Then uh, this is really neat. You also have a polyphonic tuner, which is cool because you can strum all the strings of your guitar and it will basically... You know, right here you can see this little picture. It'll show you all of them at the same time and tell you if any of them are out of tune. So that's super cool. You can just strum them all real quick and know immediately. Then there are virtual instruments available. You have the guitar, of course. Then you also have a bass, banjo. You never know when you might need a banjo. Keyboard and drums. Then you have a lot of different ways you can uh, print and share your files. So you can do the GPX uh, format, MIDI, music.xml, PDF, so if you want to print it off or just like share it to an iPad or whatever, that's an ideal way to do it. Lock slash unlock a file. I haven't ever used that. What's that one? It is possible to lock your files with a password. Ah, okay. So if you want to do that, you can. Power tab, uh, so that's like what's on uh, Ultimate Guitar. You see a lot of those. ASCI, and I haven't used this one. Simple text file. You, okay. Interesting. You can also do it in uh, MP3, so yeah, that's cool. PNG if you just want to do an image. There you go. All right. I think that is pretty much it for the features. Let's talk about what's new in Guitar Pro 8 compared to other versions of Guitar Pro in case you're upgrading from an older version or maybe this is your uh, first version that you've ever had. 
Um, so the first thing, you can add an audio file to your scores. Again, I'm not going to let you guys hear this. Put the track directly in there, listen to it, uh, be able to type your tab in around it. So that's pretty neat, or you can just practice along with it. So pretty cool. You've got that. Uh, we also have a new uh, practice tool. Again, I won't let you guys hear this. Just fastest just to show you guys this on here um, since they've got it all laid out for me. Uh, let's see, fix the tempo. So you can ignore tempo changes if you just want to be able to basically practice it all at a certain speed, even if it's different than the song actually goes. For practice sake, you can do that. Uh, you can speed up, slow down. Uh, this one I haven't ever used, but you can uh, lock the sound of the line in. You can now lock your preset using the line in to keep the same sound while changing tracks or even when you close a file. So that's a very specific update, but I guess that was a problem some people were having or something. Uh, this is pretty cool too. You now have a virtual pedal board. So if you want to just you know drag your pedals in, uh, that's pretty sweet. You can just drag them right onto here or drag them off. It won't let me do this on here since this is just a kind of a preview. But I did try that out the other day also. Really cool. Uh, let's see, adjust the sound precisely. I haven't used this or don't really have a need for it, but you can adjust um, basically exactly how long the note is held out. Uh, you can also adjust the velocity, so that's kind of neat. If you want a specific note to be a different velocity than another one, you can change it. So that's cool. Uh, then you can also mix the drum set, so you can change the uh, volume of the individual kind of components on the drum set. Pretty neat. Uh, this one, pre-listen to the sound banks, while, uh, sound banks while playing your tabs. This one's pretty neat. Uh, they're playing a copyrighted song. That way you can kind of preview it, see if you like it uh, before you uh, actually select it. I think this they already had in the previous versions, but you now have, I guess, maybe it's upgraded in some way, but again, I don't use this much either. But you can drag the uh, rhythms around if you want, like, say, the spacing to be just a certain way. You can change that too, so that's pretty cool. We have some new style sheet options. Let's see, we haven't used this one yet either, but set the spacing of the chord diagram and the score header, the systems, the staff, and the scale diagrams. Customize the font of the music symbols. Edit the font and text of numerous score indications like palm muting, slap pop, roschiato, pick scrape, and more. So that lets you change the font of these type of things. So if you need that, cool. Then again, we have the scale diagrams. I was talking about that a little bit earlier, but yeah, they basically will show you all the notes available for that scale. This one's also very specific. Uh, specific, we have nested tuplets. So if you, he's got a triplet here and then fitting in these tuplets within it. So if you need to do that, you can. Uh, piano fingering, this one's really helpful because I am also a piano player and I write out a lot of piano music. So that's a good one for me. Uh, that way I can use the software for piano also. Um, so yeah, you can edit piano fingering and sustain pedal. Uh, this one I'm really excited about, the new command palette. This is pretty cool. Um, so if you go to the command palette, you just type in what you want up here. And then instead of like manually selecting whether you want a down strum or an up strum, you can just type in DDU, like down, down, up. That's really cool. Huge time saver. Um, so again, the software is really new, so I haven't had a chance to try that out yet, but that's really neat. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that just says you yeah, have more commands available. And then also you have my songbook. Um, this is kind of an additional add-on, but if you just want um, songs you can learn how to play within Guitar Pro, uh, you can purchase my songbook. We'll talk a little bit more about the pricing of that here in a minute in the pricing section. But that's pretty cool. If you just say you type in a song you want to learn, as long as it's a relatively well-known song, it'll probably be on there. And they added new uh, filters, so you can search now by genres, instrument levels, and types. I also, I do not have my songbook, but I did check it out for this video. Um, audio tracks. Learn songs with our enhanced tab library. Enjoy audio tracks directly in your My Songbook tabs to learn easily and play along with your files. There we go. All right, some other quick improvements. Got optimized interface to Apple Silicon M optimization. Uh, PNG, yeah, new exports. Enjoy quality sound banks. Corrected and improved. Cool. Chord transpositions. Chords are now transposed with their names and fingerings. Organize your files. To find the files you're working on more easily, pin them in the recent section of the home page. Lots of stuff here. You guys can read all that. I won't read all of them. <laughs> there we go. All right, that is all for what is new in this version. Obviously, there's a ton of features. It's hard to go over all of them, but that's what's new in Guitar Pro 8. Let's go over the pricing. It's actually a very affordable software and comes in at $69.95 if you're buying this um, outright. 
Now, if you're upgrading from an older version, either versions one through seven, you can actually get this right now for $24.50. That's only available until July 31st of 2022. After that, it will be $34.95. Now, if you really recently purchased Guitar Pro uh, 7, you might actually be able to get this for free like I was able to. Um, so you might look into that. If, if you are eligible for that, they'll send you an email. Just check it out. But yeah, that's, a I think, a really good price for the software. Whenever you think about all the things that it can do, it's really not that bad. Let's go over the pricing for My Songbook, which is the official Guitar Pro tabs library. So basically, there's tabs for all types of songs on here. Um, I don't have this again. Um, I have the subscription to um, Ultimate Guitar, the like pro version of that. Um, I've uploaded enough tabs to Ultimate Guitar that they actually give me a free, um, basically a free subscription to that. Um, so I just use that. So I don't really have an, a need to purchase anything else. Um, but just to go over this pricing for you. So the first way to do this is to do like a monthly subscription. So if you do one month, just kind of one month at a time, it's $5. If you do a six month subscription, it's $20 for those six months. Or uh, obviously the cheapest way to do this is pay for the whole year, $30, $2.50 a month. So that's really cheap. <laughs> it's not bad at all. Uh, the other way you can do this, if you don't like the subscription model, you can just purchase credits where you can basically just pay for one tab at a time. Um, so one credit, $2, five credits, $8, 20 credits, uh, $20. And basically one credit gets you one tab. So there you go. So there's always that option for you. Also, they do have a uh, free tab of the day. So you, there are some that are available for free. So uh, again, that's that pricing is pretty good. And then you also, if you purchase this at the same time as Guitar Pro 8, you do get 50% uh, off. So that's quite a bit cheaper. There you go. So yeah, there's that, on, that add on if you want to check it out. Well, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for my Guitar Pro 8 review. Overall, I really like this software and I've been using it to make guitar tabs to accompany my guitar videos. Um, and so far, it's really user friendly. Haven't come across anything I've needed to do that it can't do. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's feature packed, that's for sure. Also, there is a, a seven day trial period if you guys want to try it out uh, before committing to it. Uh, I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a great tablature or just notation software in general. Don't forget it's listed down in the description. You guys can download it there. Um, I do get a commission if you guys sign up through that link, uh, but honestly, this is a great product, so wanted to share it with you. All right, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Huge thanks to the patrons also for your continued support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.